when we meditate, we're working on qualities that in one context are called the perfections, the word barnami in Pali. Perfection is not really that good a translation. Bhara can be related to the fact that they sh these qualities should have foremost importance in your life, or maybe related to the fact that these are things that carry you over suffering. Either way, they're important, and they're qualities that you develop not only when you meditate, but as you go through life. As we meditate, we're working on patience and endurance. We're working on our discernment. We're working on our equanimity. Watching the breath, watching the mind as it settles down with the breath. Sometimes you have to be very patient. Give it some time. Don't get too pushy about how quickly you want the results. When things aren't going well, be equanimous. When they are going well, you want to maintain a state of equilibrium as well, so you don't get carried away with what you've got. And so you can actually remember that when things are going well, you want to notice what's going well, so you can remember that for the next time you meditate. Then as you go into life, these qualities are going to serve you in good stead. Patience, equanimity, discernment, all the other bottomies. They start with determination. The de you're making up your mind that this is what you want out of life. You want something that has real value. Because another meaning of bhara in bhara me is that it goes beyond this life and carries over to the next. You look at the things you can accomplish in this life, you think you've done something for the world, and then the world comes up and just washes it away. But they can't wash away your good qualities. Those go with you, and they shape the world that you're going to. So think about what you're developing. You can go down the list. There's generosity, virtue, renunciation, discernment, persistence, endurance, truth, determination, goodwill, and equanimity. Ask yourself, which of these qualities do you lack? Here's your chance to develop them. It may not be the chance you want. It may not be the particular quality you wanted to work on. But if the opportunity is right there, you take it. A few days ago I received a letter from a woman who would like to die very quickly. She doesn't have any diseases or anything, it's just her life is pretty miserable. And she's making herself more miserable by wanting to die faster. She says she's not, not thinking about suicide, but she, she just wishes that the body would kind of break down and go. What's well, missing in a lot of opportunities? You've got this body, and you don't know how much longer you've got. The body's going to die whether you want it to or not. But in the meantime, you've got this opportunity. There's some good you can do right now. And this list of Barnabas is one of the ways of providing yourself with a checklist. What would you need? It's like checking the things you need to take with you as you go on a trip. Do you have enough goodwill? Do you have enough equanimity? Do you have enough discernment? If not, you can work on these things now. This is why the present moment is the moment that the Buddha has you focus on, primarily. Because this is where the work can be done. You don't know how much longer you've got to do it. So take advantage of what you've got.